Hello, hello. Uh, welcome to Heads Down. Uh, it's Christopher Tubbs here, as always. Uh, today I'm here with Toby Tobias. He's a prolific DJ, producer, uh, re-editor, and general uh, nice guy around town. That's his reputation in the music industry. Anyway, I'm sure there's a dark side to him, though. But anyway, he's, uh, he has um, very kindly agreed to uh, turn up today, or rather I've turned up at his place, at his studio and home, to talk to him about some of his favourite records, some of his inspirations, and just generally what he's got coming up over the next year or so. Anyway, let's get started. Uh, well, obviously, my main home is records. They're the, uh, they're the, the people I've uh, been working closely with for a few years now. Um, I released uh, an album with them last year, which has done all right, you know, not bad for yeah. a first dance album, which is, you know, a difficult thing. For those who don't know about Records, tell them a little bit about the label. Uh, it's run by uh, Matt Radio Slave um, Edwards and James Masters. Um, to um, two two good buddies who have been um, you know they've known each other for years uh, and who got in touch with me through their friend Spencer Parker who I gave who you know I knew you know years ago bumped into him on the shoe gave him a CD because I don't know how I had it on me I just had it on me <laughs> <laughs> I gave it to him and he passed it on to them and they got in touch about that was a close shave first release of mine about the second or third release on records, I think. Um, <coughs> and that's basically how it all started. Uh, and then I've been badgering them, and they've been badgering me, <laughs> you know, how it works, for it's, the last few years. It's, so. it's, you know, you're, 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 quite, you're, you're known for quite the separate types of music. You're, you're known as part of the, I, I suppose, you know, for one of a better uh, genre, new disco. Um, but you're also known very much for your techno and uh, house output, is that what Yeah, is that yeah, right? yeah. I mean, I always try and s sort of say that I imagine, well, where I'm coming from is bang smack in the middle of, um, <laughs> I always use that term, but it's right in the middle of um, tech, uh, techno, yeah. disco and house. I mean, I love all of those things. Electro, uh, you know, the old school sort of sound. That's, that's my true sort of roots, as it were. Uh, that's where I first got the love of deep music. Yeah, because everything is, you know, there's a certain deepness to a lot of the music I like, but um, yeah, I mean that's where I first discovered deep music when I was 11 years old, and I heard um, Cybertron clear, and it was like, got me there, touched me there, and I was like, what, why? But I don't know why, but it's it had soul, um, and then and then from then onwards, you you discover the roots of that music, you discover the roots of electro, and that's how it works, you know, I and mean, that's how it worked for me anyway. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I guess you can see um, bits of that in, in what I do. And it's like a circle surrounding, yeah, you know, all yeah. those music surrounds, you know, the influences. And bring yeah, them all in. I of mean, course, of course. Yeah. So if you're, you know, if you're out DJing, if someone comes along to see you DJing, what can they expect to hear? Um, well, definitely, you know, yeah, it's going to be a party. It's going to be a party. I mean, that's that's what you're there for. The DJ is to make the atmosphere. So, um, you know, just try and um, just go with the crowd. I mean, whatever they want, I mean, as long as it's something I like. You know, and, you know <laughs> as long as they, as long as they, um, as long as they're there to see. You know, that you've made the right booking and I'm in the right place. Then yeah. Yeah. I'm going to play. You know, you just got to keep an eye on the crowd and mm. play to them, but also. Yeah, you know, get the records out of your bag and say, you know, have some of this, you know. Yeah, so it's slightly dependent on what night you're playing at. Yeah, but I mean, most of the time it's going to be quite um, quite upbeat, you know, and, and it's just going to be a bit of disco, a bit of house, a bit of techno. And if I can slow it down for a bit, and, and if they were like that, then that's great. I mean, that's it's just nice to be able to to do, you know, what, what you feel. Mm. I mean, the last gig I played at was in Manchester, Diablos, and... That was great, and I was kind of, I was kind of thinking, mm, I think they want to wind down now, so you know, I'm going to put on some slow, put on some end of the night tunes, you know. And I was thinking, yeah, this is slow down, this is all, and but they were just kept coming, and it was like, okay, okay, this is building up again, it's building up. So after a few, what I thought was finishing, finishing off, mm. 
it was building up again. So we just went back into it. I mean, that's that's just a good example of how you know a good night a good, works. A, yeah, a good enjoyable set is you know they just go with you. You know you, they're, yeah. they're following you. you know? So once you once you've gained their trust, then they'll yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's that's it. That's exactly it. And that's what happened that night. It takes half an hour to an hour to get their trust. You have to work it. Yeah. The first half hour, and once you once you've got that, then you start really enjoying yourself. And that's why, I mean, a lot of the best DJs will say that, you know, a three hour, four hour set or what, you know, even more is the most enjoyable because um, the first hour is where you have to gain the trust. Okay. Build up the, uh, let's, let's move on to um, what, you've, what you've got coming up at the moment in terms of releases. Um, what's, what's going on with that? I've got a, a records um, release coming up. I've got the, the next album which is very close to completion. It's kind of ticking the boxes, completing the, you know, which tracks are going to go on it. Um, and before that, I think uh, there is actually a, a sampler release of the old album. It's a remix sampler, so you've got, you've got that in your Ten Snake remix. Yes, yes, I have. Ten, Ten Snake remix and a Dave Ellesmere remix and a James Tease remix of tracks from the old album. Cool. Um, which will link up nicely to the new one, I guess. Um, and that, 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 that's going to be the next release on records. Um, and I've got a few, you know, I've got a few re remixes out at the moment. I've got one, you know, I've got a remix out on the Australian label here. Is it this one here? That one. Yeah, that's a good record. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, a remix of a, a track that I really, um, really, really liked. Um, Hold it up again for the camera so everyone can see what it is. Touch, touch sensitive. Um, uh, body stop. That was that's out at the moment, um, and I did a remix because they got in contact with me. They saw I've been playing it and they said, um, "Love you to remix it." So, yeah, that, that's the way it went, and it's, it's out at the moment. Okay. So what else? Um, what else is coming up? Uh, well, I've just done obviously the, the the cheeky little thing as Casino Boy on um, on Gisco, which is like my little uh. housey sort of sampley sort of. Uh, Sort yeah. of side projects. Yeah, I, that's I, done very well. Isn't yeah, it? it's done well. Yeah, um, that's that's something. It's it's just it's just house music at the end of the day. It's sort of disco -y house. And it's something I've always done. Um, and there's actually from that I'm doing a, another remix for Disco. Um, that's that's my next piece of work. That's what I'm working on, as well as working on new productions for for the album, which I've got to draw a line at now. I've got to say, right, stop. Stop making more music and actually compile it. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, I mean, I've got remixes out at the moment for Satoshi Tomi on um, Miz label, um, Saw. That's, mm -hmm. a, that's on Beatport, that's only a download. Ooh, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, but that's, that's had some nice feedback um, from different a different sort of world of people. But yeah, yeah. That's, that's there on Beatport, so. It's important to so take it yourself to different, different yeah. demographics. Um, How do you feel about the whole re-editing, um, you know, genre? I don't know. If an already edit's done amazingly well, then it's done well. I mean, I've got one here. This um, um, Inflagrante uh, re-edit. Pull it out. Pull it out. Here it is. 